Yeah. But anyway, I've been doing a lot of drugs and drinking. <laughs> yeah, but that's no different than when you're in New York. Like <laughs> True. But now, you know, I'm with my family. <laughs> you got I enablers drunk. with you. <laughs> enablers. The and people al- that took care of me. And alcohol and drugs are cheaper. Yeah, exactly, dude. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Way oh. cheaper over here. Alcohol alcohol is way <laughs> way cheaper over here. A pack of cigarettes is like seven bucks. Over there is like almost twice. Jeez, like fourteen. Fourteen 15. bucks? Easily fourteen. Wow. And 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 you get gouged if you go like to uh was it Bryant Park? Yeah. Uh, around there. Yeah, anywhere in Manhattan. They, they put they, they put oh, a tax on it. Gouge the fuck out of it, dude. Like twenty bucks. Some parts will be like a, a a dollar and a half less if if it's not like high tourist area. Yeah, but but that's how you can tell that these motherfuckers know what they're doing and they're like, I can make an extra buck and a half. Well, that's Austin Sixth Street. They do this the same thing. You buy cigarettes there. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's like fourteen bucks or something. I will like that. say that's the one thing that's good about this coronavirus is there's no tourists in New York City, mm-hmm. which is fucking like it's like it's like a. Uh, like every year, like when I used to live in New Jersey, every year new kids get their driver's license and they don't really know how to drive. Like yeah. tourists come to New York and they don't know how to fucking walk. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, people yeah. are going this way. Walk with yeah. them. They, they just stop in the middle of the sidewalk where there's like 30 people behind them just trying to get to work. And you know, it's 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 nice. Because they're in awe of the building that they don't have. This is taller than every building in my city. So that's yeah. what they're looking at. Anytime I ever went to Times Square, I, I would I would only look at the buildings with contempt and hatred. I would just uh, go. I get Ugh. I I kind of get uh, claustrophobic. Like a, just claustrophobic. T- I go downtown San Antonio. And I see all the buildings over me because in my hometown, growing up, the tallest building I think was five stories in the oh, in the town, yeah, yeah. right? And it's just like that's a tall building. And then you came to San Antonio, which because I come from a border town, Texas, so that was like. San Antonio was our New York, right? So we get there, it's like, whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then even as a little kid downtown, when there's a bunch of really tall buildings around, I'd get like, felt like claustrophobic. Yeah. Is that like a, like a, like a vertigo almost feeling? Like, is uh, that what that is? No, it's just like you're a, you're a, you're like a pussy and buildings, yeah. buildings <laughs> scare you. Big men. <laughs> 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 you just personified the buildings. <laughs> you know what? I do feel like that among uh, among big uh, around real men. <laughs> you sir, right? really you feel like oh, that. dude, dude. There was nothing more like fucking masculine when you thought like, yeah, I am a bad motherfucker, and then you see like a real man, and you're like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's what a real soldier looks like. <laughs> big yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, my cousin is a big guy. He's like two inches taller than me and like like broader, right? And when he went to the army, he's like, he's like, there's some big boys who just pick up trees out of the fucking ground. Like, <laughs> 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 Dude, and he, wasn't, like, he went to like fucking like you went to an infantry boot camp. You went to just like a regular boot camp. Oh yeah, but, and you don't even need to go to the infantry boot camps to see some big motherfuckers, man. Yeah, sometimes, some big boys sometimes I would see like cooks. I like sliding down the chow hall, getting my food, and a giant six foot two cook putting like mashed potatoes on my on my thing, and then I would ask for like a mac and cheese, and be like, "You already have a starch," and I'd be like, "Motherfucker, <laughs> you should be out here fucking <laughs> climbing the mountains, and I should I be like serving you was, food." He knew you had too much starch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's watching your figure. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it was a fucking rule apparently. That, oh, um, and I didn't even know what a starch was. I was just like, I. Guess I can't have mac and cheese yeah. and mashed potatoes. 